For this particular video, we're bringing out the hillbilly counterpart of my mochismo. All right, let's start this out right. First thing I'm going to say is I don't condone exactly how it transpired and all the stuff that went down, but you're going to watch closely over the next few minutes. A uh, 17-minute video I've got. I will be popping in and out to make little comments because we need those things. Um, they finally released George Floyd's camera footage from the police and it shows a whole story that you guys never heard so everybody burning down shit and acting like fools you were played by the media you were played by the democrats and you were played by black lives matter and you can take that and shove it right up your cornhole let's get to it So, just right here in the first couple minutes, you see that uh, he's not really accepting his arrest, is he? Looks like a lot of resisting. Mmm. But he was so peaceful. Such a great man. We had to have such a big thing for him because he was a peaceful man. No, you're wrong. And if you listen closely, you heard him said the words, I don't want to go back. He's a freaking criminal. And the way his erratic behavior is going, he's on drugs. Um... What else do I got on that? Let's see. If you listened closely now, it may not be in this video. I can I can attach another little clip of a video to the back of this where when they're getting ready to get him out of the car, he starts 
calling for his mama. That shit that he pulled at the end. Yeah. Oh, he was screaming for his mama. Let me be sad because he was screaming for his mama. He started whining and bitching and talking all kinds of shit to get out of getting arrested since the minute they pulled him out of that car. Continue to Come watch. On. Now we claim we're claustrophobic, can't get in a vehicle yet. Where did they just pull him out of? He was in a vehicle with the door closed. Lies. You see, do you understand? This is what happened. The police are dealing with this man that is steadily coming up with shit, trying to get out of being arrested. He's high, high off his ass. He's got to be because listen to the dude. Um, He's lying the whole time. When they pull him out the other side of the car, he starts screaming the same shit that he can't breathe and everything. But yet he's taking big ass deep breaths to scream at the top of his lungs. And then he starts screaming for his mama, blah, 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 again, because he's already screamed for his mama. Continue. Y'all, man, nothing. 
We all know where it went from here. We've seen the footage from here, but that see, that's all we've seen. You see, the news should not be allowed to report half a story. That is half a story, not a whole story. That is a half story. When they send us and they show us nothing but this man being pinned down to the ground with a knee, why was he pinned down? Why did the cop not pull his knee off? Why did the cop not believe when he said, I can't breathe? Because the son bitch was yelling at the top of his lungs, you can breathe damn fine, can't you? Maybe if you hadn't spent the last fucking 20 minutes telling the cops that you couldn't breathe and <clears throat> you wanted your mommy and all this other shit, the claustrophobic and this and that and all the other lies you were telling, they would have believed it. Now, I'm not saying that it's a good thing that the dude held his, you know, held the, the dude's neck down like that, but honestly, it wasn't what y'all were told. This has all been doctored. So we don't even need to see the rest. <laughs> 